Hi, I'm Dee at Kennedy Space Center Visitor Complex. Today I'm wearing my science lab coat because I'm going to do a little science lab for you. Have you ever seen a magician roll up a cone of paper, pour water into it, and then there is no water, it just disappears? Well, magicians never tell their secrets, but you know what? Scientists do. Because if I do something and you do it exactly the same way I did it, you should get the same results. That's what science is all about. Today I'm going to teach you a little bit of science that is behind a very important piece of astronaut gear, which is known as the maximum absorbency garment. When astronauts first started going into space, they weren't up there very long, and so NASA didn't really worry about what happens when an astronaut needs to go to the bathroom. One of the most common questions people ask astronauts is, how do you go in space? Obviously, you can't take off your spacesuit and just let it out in space. That would not be good for you. So if you're on a mission to, let's say, repair the International Space Station, and you've got your big EVA suit on, and you're out there, you can't just stop and go inside to use the space toilet. You have to have a maximum absorbency garment. A fancy word for what really is just a diaper. Yes, the disposable diaper is one of the great spin-offs of NASA technology. But did you ever wonder what it is that makes a disposable diaper so absorbent? Well, I'm going to show you because it's really just a chemical called sodium polyacrylate. And if you have enough sodium polyacrylate, it will trap moisture and transform it into a polymer gel. Fancy words, it basically just means it makes it kind of gooey. So what we're going to do today is we're going to dissect this diaper and remove the sodium polyacrylate so we can see just how it works. Now, inside the diaper, in addition to the chemical sodium polyacrylate, there are also a lot of tiny cotton fibers. So you should never do this unless you're wearing a face mask. The good news is right now almost everybody has a face mask. And I've got safety glasses too. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut into this diaper. And the first thing I'm going to do is just kind of remove the elastic along the sides because it's just in the way. I want what's in the middle of the diaper. That's the business part of it. So I'm just going to cut through here real quick. And if you are a smaller person using big scissors, make sure that you get your parents' permission and help with this part. We do not want you to cut yourself. That would not be good. I don't need this part anymore. I'm going to put it aside. But you might be able to see, and I'll show you close up later, that I have these little tiny white flakes. That's because inside this diaper, the sodium polyacrylate is a crystal. Now, I've got a Ziploc bag here. Obviously, this whole diaper is not going to fit in there the way it is. So I'm going to cut it into pieces. And then very carefully, I'm going to peel off the outer layers so that what's left is this cotton and I'm going to shake this into the Ziploc bag and I'm going to do it inside the bag so it doesn't make a whole lot of cotton fibers all over the place and as I do that you can start to see this white powder forming in here I'm going to take a little bit more of the diaper Again, I'm going to hold it over the bag while I remove the outer layer. And I'm just doing this pretty quickly. You can get a lot of powder out of a single diaper. Remember what it's called? Sodium polyacrylate. Shake that all in there. Shake up that bag. I'm going to keep doing that until I've used the whole diaper normally. And then I'm going to seal that bag and shake it a little bit more because there's still some cotton in there and I want to separate out that cotton. Take that cotton out and now I've got just the sodium polyacrylate in the bag. Now once I've got the bag and it's all in there, I don't need my mask anymore. That's just to make sure that I'm not breathing in the cotton fibers when I open up the, the diaper. Now this sodium polyacrylate I'm going to put into a little cup. And then 
I'm going to see what happens when I add some water. Ready? Put some water in that cup. Now the water is a liquid, right? But as I wait, I can watch what's happening in this cup. Now a liquid is going to change its shape. But look, it's not a liquid anymore. It's a solid. I can turn it all the way upside down and it doesn't even fall out. And if I touch it, ooh, it feels kind of gooey. But that's what's inside a diaper to make it work. Sodium polyacrylate will trap lots of liquid. But if you've ever seen a little kid go in the pool wearing a regular diaper instead of a swim diaper, and it swells and swells and swells, that's what's happening. Now, if you ever do meet an astronaut, please don't say, ha <laughs> you wear a diaper. What does the astronaut wear? A maximum absorbency garment. I'm Dee at Kennedy Space Center Visitor Complex, hoping that you learned something fun today about how astronauts go to the bathroom. See what else you can do with sodium polyacrylate and how you can turn that into a really cool experiment. Change your amounts, change the temperature, change the liquid that you add, and let us know how it goes by posting something in the comments below. Have a great day guys and keep looking up.